Welcome back everybody to XTV. I hope you've all had a good week. Uh, today we're going to start by praising God and we've got two songs to sing today. The first one is Let Everything That Has Breath Praise the Lord and that one came from a parent, thank you. And the second one is What a Mighty God We Serve. to praise you, Lord, and make music to your name. I'll proclaim your love in the morning and your faithfulness at night. Sing to the Lord and praise his name. Tell of his salvation day after day. Make a joyful noise to the Lord all the year. Let the heavens rejoice. Let the earth be glad. Let everything that has When I'm young and when I'm old Praise you when I'm laughing Praise you when I'm grieving Praise you every season of the soul If we could see how much you're worth Your power, your might, your endless love Then surely we would never cease Everything that's in us, our heart, our soul, our mind, our strength, 
very air that we breathe, we raise up your name in praise because you're worthy. Jesus, the Jews and the Gentiles. And the Jews had special rules about how to please God, um, but these, these rules didn't apply to the Gentiles. So they did not have to obey the special Jewish rules. We found it really hard to get a clip of this um, particular passage. So um, I'm going to tell a story and Chloe has decided to draw the um, story as I'm saying it, but as you can see, She's drawing extremely fast. The good news about Jesus was spreading fast. People learned that God loved them so much that he sent Jesus to pay the price for all the things they had done wrong and to be their special friend. There was a church in a place called Antioch where there were lots of people. 
Simeon, Lucius, Manian, Barnabas and Paul, who were able to tell people about God and his love for them. One day, as they were praying, God spoke through the Holy Spirit and told everyone that he had a special job for Paul and Barnabas to spread his good news. Everyone laid hands on them and prayed for them. They went off travelling to other countries, telling people about God. Some men came from Judea to Antioch, saying that it was necessary to follow Jewish laws before you could be a follower of Jesus. Paul and Barnabas got into a big argument about this. So it was decided that they should go to Jerusalem to see Peter, James and the elders to settle the matter. As they travelled through Phoenicia and Samaria, they saw how God's good news had brought joy to so many people. When they arrived in Jerusalem, they were made welcome as they reported how so many people from lots of different races had become followers of Jesus. Peter reminded everyone that God had chosen him to take the good news to everyone, whether they were Jewish or not. He said God made no difference between us and them. He, he forgave their sins because they believed. We believe and are saved by the grace of the Lord Jesus, just as they are. James reminded them of the scriptures and suggested they send the believers at Antioch a letter, explaining that what is important is how a person behaves, not their family background. Judas, Barsabbas and Silas then travelled to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas and spent some time with the church there, encouraging and supporting them in sharing the good news that God loves them. The story is quite hard to follow in places, but it is important to realise that different people took different roles in spreading the good news of Jesus. Some people spoke the good news, some people prayed, some people wrote letters, and others encouraged people. I wonder what role God is calling you to do in spreading the good news about Jesus. On Sunday, last Sunday, I asked many of you to write or to send in a video of somebody that you wanted to encourage in our church. And here's what you sent. Thank you, Tan and Duran, for teaching us all about God in the Bible. We really enjoy going to XTV. You're both very nice teachers. Thank you, Karen and Duran. We would like to say hello to three people, Yvonne Wilson, Evelyn Alexander and Hazel Wilson. We want to say a big thank you for all your kindness for over the years. We miss you and hope to see you very soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Pam, I, Pam has helped me during lockdown because she has been like a lovely part of our family and she's also like been in touch with us like loads of times. Bye. Thank you Pam for making us smile during lockdown and I can't wait for your hugs. And thank you for the XTV teachers for putting on uh, XTV during lockdown. I want to say thank you to Andrew Rooney for doing the technical side of XTV uh, while we've been away and for, me and for mentoring me. I love it. I want to say thank you to Rebecca Stevenson for all her work with the young people in the church. I'll be that age too someday. And for mentoring me, I just love it. I want to say thank you to all the musicians in the church. We just love praise. Hi Diana. Um, I hope you're staying safe in lockdown. I just wanted to say th Thank you for everything that you've done in Bible class. Uh, I wanted to wish you and your family safe. I hope to see you whenever this is all over. Bye for now. I would like to thank Aaron Jimmers for organising the food and the families who help her. I love the biscuits and keep safe everybody. Um, thank you, uh, Hannah. Hey, yes, Mina. Thank you for being my friend inside church and outside church. 
Costi, thank you for loving. Thank you so much for everybody that sent on a video. I'm sure all those that watch it will be really encouraged. So thank you. Today we're going to do a craft, and in our craft today we're going to do um, something which helps helps us to think about what is the good news about Jesus. What is it in the Bible that really is such good news? And we're going to do that by making a little newspaper. And what you need to do is get a piece of paper and just fold it in half and then fold it in half again and you've got your little newspaper there ready to draw and in each page you're going to draw a picture on what you think is important about the good news about Jesus and we've done already one already just to give you an idea of what kind of things you could put in it but you can you can uh, pick out your own parts of the story of Jesus to put in that you think is good news. So we started just with the title, Good News Newspaper. And then um, we've just drawn a picture of Jesus as a baby in Bethlehem. And we just wrote Jesus was born in Bethlehem and we celebrate this at Christmas. And then um, even though we've done nothing wrong, Jesus died on a cross outside Jerusalem and we've just drawn a picture of the cross there and then the really good news was that three days after he died Jesus came back to life again and this is what we celebrate at Easter time and that's the tomb the empty tomb where Jesus is not there anymore and Jesus um, then went back to heaven and um, in his place he sent the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit is God everywhere. So that, that just shows that God is everywhere. And because of the Holy Spirit, everyone can be friends with Jesus. So that's some of the things we picked out that were the good news about Jesus. You can pick your own of whatever you want to, to, um, to tell others. And then what you could do after you've finished it is actually show it to somebody. And that's you spreading the good news of Jesus which is what we're asked to do in the Bible. We're now going to have a short prayer, uh, if everybody could close their eyes. Dear God, please show us the role you would like us to take in spreading your good news. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks everybody for joining us this week at XTB. Looking forward to seeing you next week at our last XTB of this term.